My mother was always committed to to my development as, as a soccer player because she knew that's what I loved. For her, happiness was seeing her children happy, so she would do anything and everything to, to make us happy. I think commitment is a big word, right? And, uh, and it's based in love. So when I saw that he had talent, and that was his passion, I, I'm, I said, I'm not gonna stop, and I'm gonna do whatever I have to do to give him the opportunity or the tools to do what it's, it's gonna make him happy. I was 17 years old. I was living in, in Buenos Aires during the time to prepare for a trial in, in Mexico when uh, my mother was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer. First, I needed to, you know, just know what was going on and all that, because, you know, the, the diagnosis wasn't that great. She gave me the news and it was one of the most difficult conversations I've ever had with her. It was emotional, it was, it was difficult, but I just had to be strong for her. But I said that I was gonna be fine, that everything was gonna be fine, and you know, and I don't want you to stop your life. She knew that I would wanna come home as soon as possible, and that's what I did. Fortunately, the opportunity to attend Cal was presented to me two weeks after I arrived back from, from Argentina. It was a great option because he could be here with me at the same time, but he can continue on with his life because that was his passion and I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to interrupt anybody's life. I told him that my first priority during that time was to be close to my mother. They were nice enough to let me come home every two to three weeks so I could attend the, the chemos and the radiation therapies because I knew that I, that I needed to be there. He came as much as he, as he could and uh, but you know, we were just only a phone call away and he was here most of the time. Through my four years at Cal, she did not miss a single game. Even when she was going through the chemo and the radiations, she would find a way to attend the games because that's what made her happy. Uh, that was my reason to be alive, so yeah, I was there all the time. I remember when I talked to her on, on the phone in Argentina, it was something that I've never felt before. It was like being punched in, in the kidney. And I knew that every time I stepped on, on the field, I wanted to demonstrate the same courage and bravery that she demonstrated through that whole process. Here I am, almost six years after that diagnosis, I'm full of life. When things are going well, it's so easy to be positive. But when your back's against the wall, when death is staring you at, at the face, those are the moments that, that determine your character. And that's what she's taught me through this whole process. He's a great kid, I mean, and not because he's my son, he has a huge heart. He's my everything, you know, he's, he's the son, he's a friend, he's the supporter, he's everything, you know. I'm very proud of him, of everything, you know. I look up to my mother because she pretty much raised four of us all by herself. So her courage kind of made an impact on me. And now that I look back on that, you know, it kind of makes me appreciate that a lot more. She was uh, a very humble and loving person, my mother. So she uh, showed me by the outreach to our family in Mexico. You can't just worry about yourself. It's not just your little piece of the pie. You have to stay committed to something. If you give your word and you don't keep your word, you kind of disrespect yourself, you're showing others that you're unreliable. Once you commit to something, you have to finish that. And showing commitment to anything that you do shows a, a great deal of character. And obviously as a United States Marine, we have to be committed to what we do on a daily basis. And if we're not committed, bad things can happen.